The triangle inequality property can also be used to determine the range or set of possible values for the third side of a triangle. Consider a triangle with side lengths of 4 cm and 6 cm. Can we predict a possible side length for the third side? Take a moment to pause this video and think about it, and when you're done, unpause it. Well, we actually can determine a range or a set of possible values for the third side um, using triangle inequalities for the side lengths given. First option to consider is if this third side is the longest side in your triangle. And if that's true, then 4 plus 6 will have to be greater than the third side length. And if we add up 4 and 6, we get 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters has to be greater than the third side, or the third side needs to be less than 10 centimeters. Next, we need to consider when a shorter side is unknown. So our third side is here, and 6 is instead our longest side. So if we do that, we have 4 plus the length of the third side is greater than 6. And if we subtract 4 from both sides, we end up getting that the third side must be greater than 2 centimeters. If we put these ideas together, we can determine that the third side must be greater than 2 centimeters and less than 10 centimeters. And this sentence can also be written as an inequality. Either 2 centimeters is less than the third side, which is less than 10 centimeters, or if you set x to be equal to the third side, you could write it as 2 centimeters is less than x, which is less than 10 centimeters. Let's try an example. Predict the length of the third side of a triangle with sides of length 12 feet and 16 feet. So we know that one side of the triangle is 12 feet, so let's draw it. So we got 12 feet. And the other side that we have is 16 feet. That's a little bit longer than 12. So let's say that's 16 feet. And the length of this third side is the long side. So the third side is here. So it should be bigger than these two values. And in order to find the possible side lengths for the third side, we're going to add up these two and have that value be greater than the length of the third side. So the third side must be less than the sum of 12 and 16, or 12 plus 16 is greater than the third side. And then if we combine them together, we get that it's 28 feet. So 28 feet is greater than the third side, or we can say that the third side is less than 28 feet. Now let's actually talk about the other scenario. The other scenario is that 16 feet is our long side. And the 12 feet goes in a different direction. And the third side is much smaller. And when this is the case, we end up getting the inequality that 12 plus the third side is greater than 16 because 16 is the biggest. And then if we subtract 12 from both sides, we get that the third side must be greater than 14 feet. I'm sorry, greater than 4 feet. And then we can say this as an inequality that the third side must be greater than 4 feet and less than 28 feet. And that translates into the written inequality of 4 feet is less than the third side, which is less than 28 feet, or 4 feet is less than x, which represents the third side, which is less than 28 feet. Let's try another example. Predict the length of the third side of a triangle with sides of length 9 centimeters and 15 centimeters. So we know that side 1 is 9 centimeters. Let's draw it. So we have 9 centimeters. And the other side is 15 centimeters, which is bigger. And then this third side could be our longest side. 
And if the third side is the longest side, then it has to be less than the sum of the other two sides. Or 9 plus 15 must be greater than the third side length. And then if we combine these two terms together, we get 24 centimeters, which must be greater than the third side, or that the third side must be less than 24 centimeters. Now let's actually look at the scenario where the third side is not the longest side. If that would be the case, then 15 centimeters would be the longest side. And then we can draw 9 going at a different angle. Let's say it goes down here, 9 centimeters. And then this third side is much smaller. We can still set up the same inequality, but put the 15 on the right-hand side of it and do the sum of 9 and the third side on the left. In other words, we could write the inequality as 9 plus the third side must be greater than 15. And if we subtract 9 from both sides, we end up getting that the third side must be greater than 6 centimeters. And now that we know these two pieces of information, the third side must be greater than 6 centimeters and less than 24 centimeters. And we can also write this sentence as an inequality, either with the third side in the middle or x, where x represents that third side. And it would be read as 6 centimeters is less than the third side, which is less than 24 centimeters, or 6 centimeters is less than x, which is less than 24 centimeters. Predict the length of the third side of a triangle whose known side lengths are given below. Let's start with number 9. We have 13 millimeters and 20 millimeters provided to us as two of the side lengths of a triangle. And remember, we have two cases. The first case is when the third side is the longest side. So that would occur if the, shorter, the shorter, shortest side is 13 millimeters and the medium side is 20 millimeters. And then I would connect them and that would be my third side. It would be the longest. And when the third side is the longest, we set up the triangle inequality as 13 plus 20 must be greater than our third side. And when I add these two up, I get that 33 is greater than the length of the third side of our triangle. We can also rewrite this as the third side would be less than 33 millimeters. And I know that these two are equivalent because with inequalities, Pac-Man always eats the bigger side and above here, Pac-Man's eating the 33, and in this one, he's eating 33 as well. So therefore, these two inequalities are equivalent. All right, now let's set up the other scenario. The other scenario is when we have the 20 millimeters as the longest side. So the 13 would come somewhere here, 13 millimeters. And our third side would be over here. And when this is the case, we know that 13 plus our third side must be greater than 20. And then if I subtract 13 from both sides, we get that the third side has to be greater than 7, and when we, 7 millimeters. And when we combine these two together, we will get the final inequality of 7 millimeters is less than our third side, which is less than 33 millimeters. So that's going to be our final answer for number 9. Okay, now let's look at number 10. In number 10, Again, we have to figure out the possible values of the third side. If the third side is the longest, 
then we would set up the inequality as 7 inches plus 19 inches would have to be greater than our third side. And when we add these two together, we end up getting 26 inches has to be greater than our third side. And then again, since Pac-Man is eating the 26 inches, if I reverse this and put the third side on the left, it would be written as the third side is less than 26 inches. Okay, and now we have to consider when the third side is not the longest side. And when this is the case, the inequality becomes 7 plus our third side must be greater than the new maximum value of, or the new longest side, 19. And then if I subtract 7 from both sides, we get that the third side is greater than 19 minus 7 is 12 inches. So therefore, the final inequality for this problem can be written as, I'm going to put it down here, and we're combining these two things together, that 12 inches is less than our third side, which is less than 26 inches. And that's our final answer for problem number 10. As we can see, this slide contains the solutions that we had found to these two problems on the previous slide when we worked them out. And notice that these two solutions do match what we had found. First, that 7 millimeters is less than the third side, which is less than 33 millimeters. And for this problem, it was 12 inches is less than the third side, which is less than 26 inches. Now let's try these problems. Predict the length of the third side of a triangle whose known side lengths are 4 feet and 11 feet in this problem and 23 centimeters and 34 centimeters in this problem. Let's start with the first one. We have 4 feet and 11 feet. And first we need to consider if the length of the third side is the longest side. And if that's the case, then we have to write the inequality as 4 plus 11 must be greater than the length of this third side. And when I combine these two together, I get that the solution here is 15 feet. That must be greater than the length of our third side. We can also write this as the third side is less than 15 feet. And we know that, the, that these two lines are equivalent because in this first one, Pac-Man is eating the 15 feet, which means that it's the higher number. And in this line, the same thing is also holding true with the inequality. Pac-Man is eating the 15 feet. So these two are equivalent inequalities or mean the same thing. Now let's set up our other equation. I'm sorry, our other inequality. Let's say that the third side is not the longest and 11 instead is the longest. So that would make our inequality to be 4 plus whatever the third side length is must be greater than our new longest side, which is 11. And then if we solve this inequality, we would subtract 4 from both sides, and we would get that the third side is greater than 7 feet. And then we can combine these two inequalities together to write the final inequality as 7 feet is less than our third side, which is less than 15 feet.
Now let's try the next problem. We have the side lengths given to us as 23 centimeters and 34 centimeters. First, we have to consider if the third side length is the longest. And if that is the case, then 23 plus 34, or the two smaller sides, their sum must be greater than the length of the third side, which is the longest side. And then if we add these two together, we get 57 centimeters has to be greater than our third side. We can also rewrite this inequality as the third side is less than 57 centimeters. And now let's try to figure out if the third side is not the longest and now 34 centimeters is the longest we would have then that 23 plus the length of our third side must be greater than 34. And then if we subtract 23 from both sides, we get the inequality that represents that the third side has to be greater than 11 centimeters. Therefore, the final inequality that represents the range or possible side lengths in our triangle is that 11 centimeters is less than our third side length, which is less than 57 centimeters. And what we have showing on this slide are the solutions to these two problems and they do match what we had found, that seven feet is less than the length of the third side, which is less than 15 feet, or that the third side, the length of the third side falls between seven feet and 15 feet. And for problem number 12, we found that 11 centimeters is less than the length of our third side, which is less than 57 centimeters, or it can also be restated as, the third side length falls between the numbers 11 centimeters and 57 centimeters.